Hey guys, raw vlog time. Um, writer's Notebook episode four? Yeah. So, uh, just finished out my writing session and I'm headed home, stopped at the park to record this quick vlog for you guys. So this week has been just a blur. It's just been a blur. So for those of you who know or don't know, but I live in the Seattle area and over the last basically week, we've become the epicenter of this COVID-19 situation in the United States. So I think when I recorded my last one, we, we had like maybe one or two deaths in the state of Washington and now we're up to I've, I've actually kind of stopped watching in terms of the deaths um but I, I I know we passed 10. I know it's past 10. I think it might be at like 15 or something now um in the United States uh and the majority of that here near near where I live. So this week has been it's been a tough week just in terms of you know living with um living in an area that's like got all of this attention on it and even um, my workplace actually I think it was Thursday basically gave us all the direction to work from home if you can and so like now I'm working from home and it's so it's starting to like impact my actual life this um, coronavirus issue so that is the context with which I walked up to the coffee shop to write the book I'm working on and so for me like the writing, this writing session this week was the hardest one I've had since I started back on this writing journey this year. Um, it was, it's not that I wasn't able to write, it was like my mind couldn't, wasn't doing a great job of like staying on a linear focus. So let me tell you a little bit about what I do or like my actual process. So, you know, I work full time, I have two little kids, so my week is pretty busy. Right, I have a lot going on. I also write the blog and things like that. Um, and so what I do is on the weekends, I, I take a dedicated hour to go to the coffee shop. I sit down, I set up my, my writing station, which is just you know an iPad Pro with a keyboard and put on my headphones, listen to some chill hop music. I, I plant a tree in the app Forest. I should put a link to that app down below in the comments because uh, I love it. It's a great app. Um, so I put a link to my, or I, sorry, I plant a tree in my forest for a given amount of time and then I just write like I just focus and I write and I really do I put my phone on do not disturb you know I'm not on any social media I don't get any text for that amount of time um, and I just write and so today I was focused on the writing uh, but as I was I just found myself jumping a lot like I would write some and then I want to go back and redo something and it was just a lot of like that like up and down and up and down and up and jump and jump and jump and so like so that was interesting today that was different uh, and I just think it was just focus has been harder focus is harder it's scary like so I wrote a blog this I don't know if it was this week I think it was this week I think it was Monday um, I'll also stick a link in the cop, you know, I'll stick a link in the description about fear. And so, you know, maybe that's what this vlog today is about, is about fear. And how do you, how do you live in fear? And I think, um, you know, especially in a situation like this, where it's like things aren't really getting better and they're probably going to get a lot worse before they get better. And I, I think that they are, I think that this current you know, coronavirus fear is bringing up really some existential fears that we as a society have anyway. Like in my particular case, like, you know, I've, I've, I play zombies run, like I've, I've played zombie games mostly, but like enough that like, you kind of, it's like, oh man, this is how it always starts. Like this is the zombie apocalypse, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh God, air travel caused all this. And so some of those existential fears are being brought up and then the fear of the unknown, the fear of like what's going to happen. And in times like that, which are very uncertain, and I've been through uncertain times before, um, part of what I'm writing about is how do you work your way through sudden and traumatic loss. Um, in times like that, the best thing that I have found to do is to really get grounded in the reality of what's happening right now. Um, it is to focus just focus on right now what needs to happen right now um, today in this moment 
and really just focus on that. And so that is really what I've, where my head has been over the past week, you know, cause it, I mean, it is scary. It is scary to get the, you know, the, the feedback or the direction from your leadership that says you shouldn't be in the office. If you can work virtually, you need, you need to be working virtually. That's a scary thing, you know, um, but it's like, okay, let's just focus on what needs to be done. So this morning I bought, I, I, I think I checked this book out from the library a long time ago, but I just went ahead and bought the Kindle edition of uh, Dogen's Instructions to the Cook. It's, I think it's, uh, in Japanese, it's Tenzo Kyoken. So Tenzo is the person in a Zen monastery who like does the cooking and things like that. And so like this book, uh, so Dogen, I could get into who Dogen is, but he, suffice to say, he's a very um, revered Zen master from back in the days. And, um, so, so Dogen wrote this book about basically instructions to the cook and, and what it is, what, what the book is about, is really about how do you live your day-to-day -day life very like, fully and be fully engaged in your work or fully engaged in your life or fully engaged in the things that you're doing. Because there's the meditation piece of like sitting on the cushion and, you know, um, and do and, and being mindful in a, in a sitting meditation type of thing we call in in soto zen the tradition that i kind of came up in we call that shikantaza which is essentially just sitting um like focused on just sitting but then you get up from the cushion you got to live your life and like if you're the tenzo you got to cook for the monastery and you got to do things and so the the instructions to the cook are all about how do you live a deliberate uh, fully present life and so yeah this morning I was like I need to I need to have that book permanently in my life because <laughs> I, I don't right um, I have other Zen books and things like this but that book in particular has been top of mind for me lately and so it's not, it's a resource I want to be able to go to easily on my devices and things like that so I got that for my Kindle and and I was reading it this morning and it, yes like that's what I need in a time like this um, that's for me what has brought the most comfort is to focus on what I'm doing. So focus on the next thing and the next step. And so today, you know, writing, focus on my writing, um, not judge it, just focus fully on doing that. Um, and then, you know, as I walk, as I sit here and I record this vlog, focus entirely on recording the vlog. This is what I'm doing right now. Walk back to my home, the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and just be fully present with that and not let the fears of everything that's going on around me infiltrate into my own peace of mind so i guess that's what the vlog is about today is you got to find your peace in in and amongst the chaos um today's writing session like i said it was a little for me it was like i was going and then i would jump back and but that's all fine like that i was still present i was still writing i was still focused singularly on that activity it just wasn't linear. It was sometimes down, sometimes up, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes up, and that's okay. Like as you write, that's okay because in the end, you're gonna have the complete thing. And that was the thing is, even though I was doing that, I, I still came out with a with a with a chunk of words that makes sense together. Even though for me, they came up in a very non-linear fashion. So, all right, guys. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. Bye.